The Radiant is a very personal story and this is the story of Marie Curie at a certain period in her life, the most vulnerable period in effect. In effect. Uh, she's famous now really for what she did, uh, but not for who she was. This is a personal story. It's really, I don't like to call it a vehicle, but it's really about her and what happens to her. Her husband is dead when the play begins. She's got two young daughters to raise. Most people don't even know she was, she ha she was a mother. And her children are very young. Uh, I think they're, I think they're both under six. And uh, she had to fight her way all the way through in a very male-dominated field, which it still is, as science is still something that's supposed to be strange to women. But this is the story of a young woman who, against all odds, rose to discover radium and win one Nobel Prize for that, and then separated radium into a pure metal, which won her the, her second prize. It had been in a form uh, amalgamated. It had been with other something else. Uh, during this time, she falls in love with a younger lab assistant. And they have a heated romance. And she's discovered. And she's nearly killed. Uh, her career is nearly ruined. Uh, the play also has a very vivacious, very attractive, she has a young cousin that she's brought over from Poland to go to the university, and the, po the girl, uh, Katerina, becomes her helper. She takes care of the children for her, and that's another part of the story, but the main story is what happens to Marie, and again it comes back to my theme, which is the outsider trying to make it in a mainstream society, the mainstream society of science being one of men. I got the impetus for this particular play from reading Eve Curie's obituary. Her daughter Eve lived to be 101, and she came to America. She lived on Sutton Place South in New York, and when she died, when she died, one of the things it said in the obituary was the one regret she had was that she hadn't gone into the lab, become a scientist, and help her mother. And that really did something to me. And curiously, the very next day, I had an appointment with my dermatologist. And I told him the story. And he sort of, you know, went like that. And he said, Eve Curie, I treated her for years and years. I said, really? Marie Curie's daughter? He said, yes. She, he said she had cancers, skin cancers, all over her hands and upper arms. And I kept having to take them off and take them off and take them off. I don't know actually if they were skin cancers. I think that's my name for them. And I said, but she didn't become a scientist. She became an, an author and she was a concert pianist. And he said, yes, but she helped her mother as a teenager. And she was in those labs. Well, once that happened, I knew I had to do that play. It was just too much, you know. And that was that was the inception of uh, uh, the Radiant.